He figured that out pretty fast. Gotta love kids. They're always picking up new tech yeah. real fast. It's a good thing I didn't, like, twist him into a pretzel, though, when it <laughs> transformed. I, that's what happens when I try to make a transformer turn it back into its car. Just get it all confused. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to You Mean the Movies. Tonight we got a special request. Special request. Granddaddy Rockstar. Coming in hot. With... Transformers. Autobots. The animated movie from 1986. Oh, an animated classic. The feature film from the 1980s Transformers series. The first generation of Transformers movies. Nice. I've actually never seen this. Nor have I. I do know... Some details about it, though. So I, but I don't think you've ever seen any of the original Transformers because you weren't alive yet. I think I saw some reruns of yeah. the original cartoon. cartoon. Yeah. So this is a movie shirt. for like the after the first two seasons of the the movie or the, the TV series. The okay. TV well, I've series. definitely not seen like a whole season of it. I've definitely just seen Bits episodes and here and there. Yeah. You're familiar enough with like Bumblebee and. Mm -hmm. Optimus Prime. Bumblebee's my favorite. Yeah. This was my very first ever graphic tee. Yeah. Bumblebee was a Volkswagen Bug back in the day. Mm -hmm. Not a Camaro. I recall. Like in the modern movies. Mm -hmm. but yeah, but here's what Rockstar has to say about his pick this month. He snagged the October. The quick, quick draw. He was the quick on the draw Ooh. to snag it. So. Fast fingers. Beyond good. Beyond evil. Beyond your wild imagination. If a film could literally embody the 80s, it would be the Transformers movie. It made some bold choices at the time, which really threw young Transformer fans, like myself, through a loop in 1986. And yet, it stood the test of time because of it, ironically now. So strap yourselves in as this film is a high-energy roller coaster ride that never stops. It boasts arguably the greatest 80s film soundtrack ever, scored by synth master Vince DiCola, composer of Rocky IV, featuring two of the most underrated forgotten 80s songs, you Got the Touch and Dare from Stan Bush as a heavy metal version of the Transformers theme song and even a track from Weird Al Yankovic. Hope it's nostalgic <laughs> enough to nice. get you guys headbanging and bringing back your inner childhoods. Thank you guys so much for the opportunity. It was a really hard choice between this and Masters of the Universe. However, mm -hmm. since my birthday is this week... Oh, happy birthday! This makes it an awesome B-Day gift and hope you guys are fans of... And enjoy the film and, rea and reaction. Well, shit, Rockstar, happy birthday. And you know what? I'm super happy about this choice because I, I'm a Transformers fan. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoy it. Well, are you ready to roll out? Hell yeah. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Transformers movie. Yeah, and if you want to be like Rockstar and maybe get your own special request, check our Patreon link down below. You can also get early access, full income, and access to pull those up to watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Let's watch Transformers the movie. Here we go. Autobots, roll out. Let's do it. Marvel Productions. Oh no, what a mess. Marvelous Spook! It's Unicron! Unicron. Oh, shit. Oh, it's like the Death Star. Uh, that's bigger than, what is it, Cybertron, the planet? I guess so. It's a giant anus. Can I say anus during the kids' kids' show? Sure. That's that's unfortunate. He's just consuming the whole planet. Looks like it. Yeah. Robots in disguise. Oh, Billy Idol's brother. No. No? Judd Nelson. Hot Rod. Leonard Nimoy. Live long and prosper. 
Orson Welles. It is the year 2005. <laughs> <laughs> when are we going to start busting Deceptor Chops? I want you to make a special run to Autobot City on Earth. But listen, Ironhide, we don't have enough energon cubes to power a full-scale assault. I love Optimus Prime's voice. Yeah, it, there's something so nostalgic about it, right? Yeah. It's like so strong. Now, all we need is a little energon and a lot of luck. Isn't that a Decepticon? That... Was it spying? I think so. Ready the shuttle for launch. Now, all we need is a little energon and a lot of luck. More than you imagine, Optimus Prime. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they're going to get that luck now. Huh? Nope. Oh no. He turns into a really small gun. Oh well. Scream. Wouldn't we slip by the early warning systems in their own shuttle and destroy Autobot City? The Autobots will be vanquished forever! Such heroic nonsense. Ooh. Yikes. Brutal. Whoa, look at the size of it. Yep, it's a whopper, all right. Just eat it whole. Pat Rod, the shuttle's coming. Let's watch it land. Talk about doll, Daniel. Hoverboard. Oops. Wear a helmet. <laughs> Sweet car. Hot Rod, look! There's a hole in the shuttle! What? You can win if you dare! Decepticon! So, anyways, I just started blasting. Oh, he's outnumbered. Whoops. Nice one. Is he a magnifying glass? Or a... Like microscope? Telescope. Come on, RC, let's go. But Hot Rod and Cup are still outside the city. We can't wait. They'll have to take care of themselves. Come on. How do you think uh, Transformers reproduce? I'm not sure. Yeah. Just build baby Transformers? Just build them. Manufacture them. Yowza! Uh -oh. Drop it off. Are you cheering for Starscream? See you, Becca? Yeah. That's oh. Megatron's lackey. Sorry. They all look similar. They all look like machines. Racist. If I can't see their little logo, then I they all are <laughs> the same. Usually Decepticons are not cars. And the Autobots are cars. Hmm. Contact Optimus Prime on Moon Base One. All right. Cover your receptors, Perceptor. She's a boombox. You need me. The Decepticons are blitzing Autobot City. We're really taking a pounding. Soundwave, jam that transmission. Eject operation interference. Get all those cassettes. Me. The Decepticons are blitzing Autobot City. We're really taking Jammed. Blaster, save yourself! No way, Toucan, play. Ah. 
They're just little robots. Well, they all have little cassettes, huh? I don't think the Autobots are winning this battle. Reinforcements? My brother used to have this super cool die cast Optimus Prime. Oh, yeah? Yeah, when he was nice. a kid. I was always so jealous of it. Because it was, was so his, cool. His, his age range. Yeah. Yeah, he would have watched this a lot, I'm sure. Uh -oh. Yeah, like four or five years old, right? That yeah. that was mm -hmm. his age. Transformers. The so. Dinobots are going to be extinct here in a second. This is an epic song. Just running them over. I think he had a bumblebee too. Yeah. A little yellow bug. Mm hmm. Oh no. Oh. Gut check. He toothpicked him. There goes his gun. Uh oh. Is a lightsaber? Finish him off, Prime! Do it now! Do it! Do it now! <laughs> I should have got Arnold for that guy. I thought you were made of sterner stuff. No, you don't, Megatron! Out of the way, Hot Rod! Crack his block. I would have waited an eternity for this. It's over, Prime. Never, Never given up. How do you feel, mighty Megatron? Yeah. Astro Train, transform and get us out of here. Don't leave me, Soundwave. His own people are kind of treating him like shit, huh? Yeah, he's always treated Starscream pretty badly, so I don't think Starscream likes him very much. I'm pretty sure Starscream is voiced by the same guy that does Cobra Commander in G.I. Joe. Hmm. He was busy in the 80s. Yeah. I fear the wounds are fatal. I fear you're wrong. Ultra Magnus, it is to you, old friend. I shall pass the matrix of leadership. But one day, an Autobot shall rise from our ranks and use the power of the matrix to light our darkest hour. Until that day, till all are one. Did you just kill Doctor's Prime? Yeah. He's kind of a big deal. Tears were shed by six-year-olds everywhere. <laughs> Rip. The 80s were brutal. Who's spying on him? That's that planet that was eating the whole planet at the beginning, right? Yeah. Astral Train has requested that we lighten our burden. In that case, I say it is survival of the fittest. Get! Make room for others! Don't! 
Oh, jeez. You don't vote with them, they throw you off the ship. Huh? No, they're just they're too much weight. And they're dumping the wounded. Mm. Autobots would never leave a man behind. Never. I nominate myself as the new leader. Wait, the Constructicons form Devastator, the most powerful robot. Nobody would follow an uncharismatic boar like you. Hey, nobody calls Soundwave uncharismatic. Uncharismatic. <laughs> Jeez, they might not even make it home. Welcome, Megatron. This can't be good. Command, you are to destroy the Autobot Matrix of leadership. It is the one thing that can stand in my way. You have nothing to fear. I... Why is he drooling? Fluids. Lubricant. Hmm. I belong to nobody! Perhaps I misjudged you. Proceed on your way to oblivion. <laughs> Excellent. Uh-oh, he's getting upgraded. Up upgrades, yeah. Behold. Galvatron. Galvatron, huh? He's been galvanized. <laughs> Just creating more toys for kids to buy. Sweet. Get on with the ceremony! <laughs> Disrupts my coronation! Megatron, is that you? Here's a hint. <laughs> oh. See ya. King for a day. Not even. Megatron was th through with his shit. Hmm. This is Jazz, a ginormous, weird-looking planet that showed up in the suburbs of Cybertron. And it's attacking Moon Base One. Jeez. Boy, it's a consumer, isn't it? Get out of there, Jazz! This monster planet just ripped the first moon to shreds. And it's heading this way. We'll try and slow it down. But you'd better get here fast because we're not gonna... Dad! Uh-oh. If this doesn't stop it, nothing will. The explosives are activated. Let's get out of here. I'm just gonna self-destruct it inside of them. I didn't even phase it. It isn't even dented. Oh shit, what are we gonna do now? <laughs> We're being sucked into it! No, oh, no. Cybertron and all its moons belong to me! <laughs> uh, but remember, we belong to him. Yukon is bad news. It's a bad game. Put together. Somehow we must destroy it before it devours Cybertron. But what about my dad? We'll do everything we can for Spike. Maybe the Matrix can stop it. You're right, it can. What do you know about it, lad? I just got this feeling. <laughs> I just got a good feeling about it. Stay close to me, Daniel! And you better stay close to me! <laughs> No, you'd better stay close to me. Ooh. Ooh. Spicy. They're gonna go park somewhere. There's a little romance here. Let's hit him with this Godzilla breath. Come on, you big bozo. Get in the shuttle. 
Is this like Noah's Ark? <laughs> the Dinobots are ancient robots. They're pretty unruly and hard to deal with. Get your noodle out of my face. <laughs> Engage the boosters for Cybertron's sake. Good. Engage the boosters. Wait, Ultra Magnus, I see still out there. Jump. Just in the nick of time. That was close. Believe it or not, this is the fun part. Cop, don't you think we have better things to do now than tell old stories? Like maybe figure out how we're gonna rescue our friends. And no, tell stories. <laughs> Quiet. Tell stories. We want to hear stories. Shut your face, Pink Man. <clears throat> time out. Time out. Time out. He wants to hear the story too. Cyclonus, transform and attack. Oh boy, we need some Autobot fighters. We're gonna crash! Uh oh. Magnus, the Decepticons are gonna dog us until they see us dead. Then that's exactly what they're gonna see. Prepare for emergency separation. For now. It's true. This alliance he's made with Unicron isn't really working out for. It's kind of backfiring. Yeah. Did we have to let him detonate three quarters of the ship? Seeing as how they would have detonated four quarters, I think it was a good choice. <laughs> The planet of junk is in this vicinity. Then let's go for Junk? It. It's probably where they take all the uh, broken robots, huh? He's still alive. Uh-oh. Old man's still alive, too. It's a giant robot squid. I wish I had a saw hand. Just like Ash. Fix me. Sure, cop. Right away. Or attach his leg and arm. Seems manageable. They are machines. Say something. Anybody. Ow. I think Daniel can make himself useful with this. It was Spike's exosuit. Here, try it on. Come on, you can do it. Nailed it. It's like Bambi. Whoa! Ah! Keep on practicing. Can't walk, but can do a front flip. <laughs> Stranger, with that good coffee flavor for you. Yeah. Offer expires while you wait. Operators are standing by. Uh oh, jump bots. Looks like it. Anyway, all things considered, you did an amazing job, lad. Amazing. Really? Now let's find that Dinobots and get him off this twisted planet. He can still transform. He's good. I'll use the universal greeting. Universal greeting? Ba weep grana weep penny ba. Ba weep grana weep penny ba. See, the universal greeting works every time. <laughs> this is getting expensive. Don't worry, they'll reciprocate. Let's hope. Oh, now they're pissed. Oh, 
Who's this lobster car guy? Has the Imperial Magistrate reached a verdict? I have. Innocent. Feed him to the shark guns. But he was innocent. If fed to them for being innocent? What happens if you're guilty? Who's Unicron? A planet that devours everything in its path. So that's the monster's name. Uh-oh. Innocent or guilty? I don't know. Innocent. Are they confused about what the word innocent means? Yeah, maybe they don't know the definition of that word. Beast spook, no see nothing. I had that transformer. Do you? Yeah. You did? I had it, yeah. Pterodactyl Autobot or Dinobot. Cool. Swoop. Me, Grimlock, no like you. <laughs> My boy hit my nose. <laughs> we really say fine friends today. Me Grimlock say we on our way. They're just walking. Guess so. Ultra Magnus is dead and the Matrix destroyed. The Matrix has not been destroyed. And Ultra Magnus lives on the planet of Junk. Ultra Magnus. Decepticons! We've got to draw them off and double back to the shuttle. You know, they're gonna get off this planet. I'm honestly never 100% sure when I watch Transformers what the mission is. What the what? Mission? Like, yeah. I never know what the ultimate goal is. Just to beat the Decepticons. Is. Stay alive. He figured that out pretty fast. Gotta love kids. They're always picking up new tech yeah. real fast. It's a good thing I didn't, like, twist him into a pretzel, though, when it <laughs> transformed. I, that's what happens when I try to make a transformer turn it back into its car. <laughs> Get it all confused. I want the Matrix. Never. We exterminate him. Oh no. They just kill Ultra Magnus too. With this, I shall make you my slave. Oh boy, yeah. it's just like fucking Game of Thrones here. <laughs> just killing up all the main characters. Well, Galvatron didn't destroy the Matrix, he took it for himself. This court. Guilty or innocent. Innocent. Uh oh. Then let's hold a demolition, Davey. It's gonna drive through them all. Guess so. This band sounds like a band that's familiar. Yeah. I guess just like any '80s hair band. Huh? Maybe a little Guns N' Roses in there. Yeah. We can't hold out forever, Cup, but we can give them one humongous repair bill. She's got to demoralize them so they run away. That'll do it. Oh. Excuse me. The Dinobots even know they were saving them? I don't know. Shanticons, execute them! Me, Grimlock, say execute them! I think the problems on this planet will be solved very shortly. <laughs> yeah, but what about our problems? We oh shit, that's a lot of Shanticons or whatever. Don't look behind door number two, Monty! It's time to play End of the Line, my Valentine! 
It's Weird Al. In like a Mad Max character. No, the song. I know. Dead to be stupid. Dead to be stupid. You don't dare to do it, you just are. Yeah. So who's going to be the new leader of the Autobots? The little boy, Danny. Danny. What's his name? Daniel. Daniel. Danielson. Ba weep, grana, weep, ninny bong. 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 It's really a thing. <laughs> it actually worked for them. We talk TV. You talk some TV. I talk some TV. And now the news. Don't touch that dial. <laughs> Oh, they're just gonna put them back together. A little turtle wax. Sweet. New improved junkie on planet is sleek, sexy import with turbo handling. Where's that? Oh, second ship. Uh huh. I now possess that which you most fear. You'll do my bidding or taste my wrath. Oh boy. Oh shit. Is it going to turn into a giant maid with a vacuum cleaner? It's a giant transformer. Giant Ninja Turtle. For a time, I considered sparing your wretched little planet Cybertron. But now, you shall witness. Giant Charizard. Dismemberment. Look like an angel of death. It's a big dude. This guy is flipping huge. Well, he just ate Galvatron <laughs> with the Matrix, too. What happened to Moonbase 2? Where's my dad? That's what we're going to find out. He's dead. Maybe. He might be dead. I don't know. Oh! Right in the Shoot eye. Right through the eye. That's always a good, good shot. I've heard this song before. It's literally been playing this whole time. Oh, this is a different song. I think they've played it a few times. It's called Dare. Dare. It's the theme song okay. to this movie. <laughs> the Matrix. It will do you no good, Autobot. It cannot be opened. Destroy him, Galvatron, now. For you yourself shall be obliterated. Of course, my master. The, yeah. blinky, the blinking lights just made my eyes go really weird for a well, second. Maybe you're under control of Unicron now. Might be. Go, Dinobots, go! Tail whip, tail whip, tail whip, tail whip. Fire breathing, tail whip. Like something he ate's upsetting him. Ooh. Well, that's convenient. We're melting. Dad! Daniel! Dad, what can I do? Knock down the acid cover! How? Blast it, son! But I don't have a gun! You Stop talking! Hooray! 
Oh no! Just dead, dead get melted. Oh, our new allies. It's a pity you Autobots die so easily, or I might have a sense of satisfaction now. Arise, Rodimus Prime. Rodimus Prime. Rodimus Prime. He is the chosen one. Ooh. You just upgraded to a V8 engine. Got the power. Destroying Unicron from the inside. Unicron's like, oh, I shouldn't have swallowed those Chipotle restaurants. Oh, no. Chipotle didn't exist back then. Oh. I don't think it existed in 2005 either. Daniel Springer, what's going on? No time to answer that now. Let's get out of here. His name's Springer. He likes to jump around. Jump, jump, jump. Everybody jump. Autobots, transform and roll out. He turns into like a giant RV. He's like a, yeah, a, a big hot rod. There's Bumblebee. You cannot destroy my gesture. <laughs> Ooh. His head's still alive, though. Till all are one. Till all are one. Till all are one. Yeah. You got the power. You know you got the touch, babe. You got the power. I think you got the power. His head is still intact. It's never a good thing. Peter Cullen is Optimus Prime. Oh, Scatman Crothers was Jazz. Yeah, Judd Nelson is Hot Rod and Rodimus Prime. More oh. than meets the eye. Robots in disguise. Yeah. Nice. All right. Classic. What do you think? Rockstar was right. This was nonstop action. Yeah, just nonstop. Bright colors and explosions and blasting and it, fighting in between robots. It honestly felt. What is the? Who's the director of the? Light the Michael Bay. Michael Bay felt yeah. like a Michael Bay cartoon. Kind of did, right? <laughs> Like just, just lots of explosions lots everywhere. Lots of action, yeah. Makes you that's feel, realize, basic. like, oh, maybe Michael Bay was the maybe, right director yeah, exactly. for all the Exactly, yeah. Maybe movies. it wasn't, like, a Michael Bay thing. Maybe it's just a Transformers thing. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Because that was nonstop action. Have you even seen the Michael Bay Transformers? The first one. Just the first one? Maybe the second one. Yeah, they're kind of all the same. Yeah, I mean, really. Decepticons. I could, I could, are the the plot of each movie is just... Optimus Prime has the Matrix. The well, it doesn't really it. matter, right? It's yeah. it's all the action that makes the yeah. movies. And all the cool bots. Speaking of all the cool bots, who was your favorite? Well, Bumblebee didn't get enough screen time on this. Yeah. Well, this was kind of like the movie was kind of bringing the next generation, so they're trying to feature new cars. Um, Bumblebee's more of the hero of the first two seasons of this. Well, show. I guess Rodimus Prime. Yeah. Hot Rod. Yeah, I guess. It's kind of his. It's his movie, right? Yeah, coming of. He's the. The chosen one. Becoming the leader. Mm. It's kind of just the, the, the hot rod kid at the beginning. Mm -hmm. kind of I a, like the Dinobots. Yeah, the Dinobots are awesome. Yeah. My favorite. I don't ever remember Dinobots. You remember the Dinobots? Mm -hmm. 
Terminator. I think they found them on like some prehistoric planet and like cool. tamed them. I so. like them. Yeah. I've never really watched much of the cartoon. I just remember bits and pieces of it. I also don't remember a girl transformer. You don't remember RC? She was a, she's a motorcycle. Didn't remember. So I watched GI Joe more than Transformers. So I think no GI Joe. I think came out. I think these both hit theaters been at the same time. Pretty little though. Yeah, I had a bunch of GI Joes. So I didn't have very many Transformers. But they're made by the same people. A lot of similar, some same voices and stuff. Yeah. Between the two. So yeah. Well, Galvatron is destroyed, right? Did. No, he just threw him out the window. He threw him out into space, so Galvatron's mm-hmm. still floating around out there somewhere. Probably. Who is... He's the Decepticon guy. Yeah, right? he was Megatron. Mega, Megatron. Turned into Galvatron. Voiced by Leonard Nimoy. Yeah. Megatron. Spock. Why so. do they got to change his name? That's just confusing. So the kids have to buy a new toy? One that's and he was Galvatron. Like, yeah. Different color. Yeah, he's galvanized now. <laughs> okay. Instead of turning into a gun like Megatron, he turns into a giant cannon. Ah, uh, so yeah. cooler. Yeah, they killed Starscream too. They, they yeah, it was like freaking Game of Thrones wed, red wedding in there. Yeah. <laughs> My coronation. <laughs> Just kill all Melts the main them. characters. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, everybody died in this one. It's funny. Yeah, I think they did that to be like, oh man, there's some heavy stakes in this. If yeah. you watched like the first two I think there seasons are, I mean, of the you TV could, show, you probably would have more emotional impact from could be, yeah. everybody that was getting wiped out there at the beginning. And clearly they were trying to usher in the, a new generation yeah. of Transformers, so this I don't is like their think, way of saying goodbye to the uh, old ones. I don't think the new characters hit as well as the originals. Mm, it no usually joke. doesn't work like that. You can't really like... Yeah, you can't take the, away people's favorite rings. characters and pass them to somebody else. So, That's not how it works usually. Yeah. Well, what should people comment on after Transformers, the movie? All right. Tell us if you remember watching this as a kid. What's your first Transformers memory? I remember they brought in Unicron for, like, I think one of the new, for one of the Michael Bay movies, but he was nowhere near as cool or devastating. Like, he was just destroying things left and right in this movie. Yeah. We should should do a better adaptation of Unicron. Yeah. Who's your favorite Transformer? Yeah, and what what did you think of the uh, the passing of the the reins of the the leader of the Autobots on yeah. killing off Optimus Prime? I don't think anybody liked Ultra Magnus for a little Optimus bit. Optimus Prime to die, did they? And hot Hot Rodimus, or Rodimus Prime, Rodimus Prime, Rodimus Hot Prime. Rodimus, <laughs> Hot Rodimus, Hot Rodimus Prime. <laughs> what his friends call him? Uh, yeah. Right. And Unicron will be back, I bet. He's still floating out. He'll probably just Honestly, be when tiny. I read it on the screen there at the end, I thought it said unicorn. unicorn? <laughs> I was like, I don't remember a unicorn. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's your favorite? Idiot. Or maybe Decepticon. Who's your favorite Decepticon, too? Yeah. Gotta have a favorite bad guy, right? Probably. And which toys did you have as a kid? Yeah, which was your Transformer? I think I just had Swoop the Dinobot. I think that's his name. Yeah. So. Thank you so much for hanging out, and thank you, Rockstar, for selecting a cartoon movie. Yeah. Actually, I th- a classic. I had Swoop and Starscream so I could f- fight them because they flew around mm. and they battled each other. Yeah. So I like that. that was, those cool. were my Transformer toys on that too. So yeah. Let us know all your thoughts on Transformers the movies. And if you want to be like Rockstar and get your own special request, check our Patreon link down below. You can also get early access, fully comedy and access to polls up so we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Till next time, roll out. Bye.